Hi, it's so Charlie giving you Monday's market commentary. I'll keep this relatively quickly for you today, quick for you today. Um, before I go into that, um, I just want to go through what my plan is for really 2014. Uh, I'll just do a very quick overview now and then I'll go through it in a bit more detail maybe, or we will do in January. Um, but essentially what I'm going to be looking to do is, is it's more of the same, but if I look at this year, and I think that we all need to, when you're, when you're mapping out your plan for the new year, which all traders should do, setting out your goals and, and how you're looking to trade, then you need to look at what how the current year went, what went well, what didn't go so well, etc, etc. So I'm looking at the, this year, 2013, saying, okay, well, the first sort of um, half of the year was really good, the markets were really good. I did feel that then they just fell off August, September, and into sort of early October, and they've sort of picked up some sort of mid-October onwards. And so... Um, I, you know, I've had to adjust my trading when we're going through the quieter periods, and and um, so what I've done is um, I've I've started doing a bit more um, swing trading or intraday swings as well, those sort of type swingy type trades. Um, so I'm going to be persevering with that or, and continuing with that, and actually increasing the amount of out and out swing trading I'm doing. So next year is going to be a, a, a a, a ch not a change, but I'm just doing more of that stuff, but also more day trading as well. So I want to get back up to trading two to three times a day in the new year, and so there are certain strategies I can employ in order to do that. Um, and also, I want to be putting more and more swings through. So actually, I'm looking to 2014 actually being probably my my biggest year for trading activity that than or certainly bigger than this year. And um, so it's going to be an an uh, a tick up in my trading activity next year um, because this year it's been very easy. Certainly the first half of the year doing two to three trades a day done. Um, and um, whereas next year I'm going to do those but I also want to continue with those. That really is the cream is getting those um, swing trades uh, through as well. So um, I'm going to be doing a, a, a bit more trading possibly a, a more of a slightly wider variety of, of currency pairs as well in on the swing side of things. So um, so that's my sort of generic plan. I'll go through it a bit more detail next year but um, but yeah I'm looking for 2014. I want it to be my my one of my best years ever um, it would be nice. Um, obviously, we had all that volatility a couple of years ago, and that was good. But um, but certainly, um, I want to um, want it to be really good, which obviously everybody does with their own trading. And so um, and how I'm going to make it good is by just ticking it up a little bit, um, being a little bit laid back. Certainly in the last month or so in December. Um, you start to wind down your trading activity going into into December, but really start to crank it up in the new year. But talking of winding down, um, you must, must, must be careful over this Christmas period. I've been talking to the traders in the room about this, and you just have to sort of rein it in a little bit because the, the volumes do come down um, at this time of year and you do get moves but just be careful don't just think oh I'm, it's over Christmas I'm just going to go and um, throw some trades in um, over the period um, you've got to really you, the best policy is to not trade because the professional traders aren't trading and yet the retail retail traders are still so keen to want to try and pull some money out of the markets they may be just forcing it a little bit too much and then you, what you don't want to do is then just try and trade through the Christmas period only to then lose and then you think oh that's a bit of a shame so I would my, my advice would be to stop, don't trade during the Christmas period or if you do want to trade just downsize or whatever but um, it is low volumes there can be some decent moves um, so I will be keeping an eye on it myself but I, I don't don't think I will be trading. I think just have the break, enjoy the break, and uh, and then come back fresh in the new year. It's amazing what that can do for you. Anyway, that's that. Let's have a quick look at these markets then. Not too much to say here on the pound. I'm just seeing the euro starting to move off the screen at the moment whilst um, I'm doing this. But this is the daily charts here. Um, pound. I'd still like to see pound come higher. I think if we look at the monthly charts. Um, Oh, sorry, weekly charts here. I still like this overall. Um, we've had a nice flag here, and then we've broken up. We're just consolidating here again. Um, but with the light volume markets, these markets can be pushed around, so it's difficult to more difficult to be as technical with them. Um, yeah, it may want to pull back to a weekly 21, but um, but I still think overall we've got potential to get up to 166 um, or, or even slightly beyond that on the pound. Uh, what else have we got? And if I have a look at the euro dollar, the euro dollar we've had this flush down. It really wouldn't surprise me. I'm still looking for the euro to go higher. So um, 
I was saying this to the guys in the room last week. Oh, sorry, one thing I forgot to mention on Friday's update. Obviously, I banked, I cashed out on the Euro. I cashed out at 137.20 zone, um, between 137.20 and 17, I think it was, um, that I cashed out. So it was a nice nice 200-odd point gain for my initial entries on that Euro swing that I'd been in. But I don't think this is over. I think this is just a flush, and I think that ultimately Euro is probably going to want to come back up again. So I'm going to be keeping my eye on the Euro dollar um, to see if that is going to be the case. But if it does it over Christmas I may just miss out because I'm going to be away um, so that's that and then last let's have a quick look at the S&P uh, look new highs here I have one thing I haven't checked though is if there's um, any divergences so we'd need to check if there are any divergences on the S&P but um, but so far so good it's making a marginal new high but I don't know if the Nasdaq oh no the Nasdaq has as well so um, so far trend remains up um, just done a pullback and we hit the lower trend line again hit the 50 day moving average and we've put in a good bounce um, can't say much more than that at the moment trend remains up uh, until pre- Proven otherwise, like I've always been saying. Um, that's about it for now. Have a fabulous Christmas. Um, there is some news out over Christmas. Kim's um, saying that it's not really probably going to be worth doing anything with. But um, uh, again, low volumes. Leave it alone. Enjoy the enjoy having a break, and we will be seeing you in the new year. Happy Christmas. <laughs>